Hey everyone and welcome back. In the previous video, we have learned how to create a signal and send it to the other client that hey, there is a new call receiving. And in this video, we are going to actually create our call activity and navigate to our call activity. So to do that, I'll create my call activity class. First annotate that Android entry point and it will inherit from app compass activity so let's create our view binding private latent var views type activity call binding and inside on create method i'll instantiate my views using activity call binding dot inflate and pass layout inflator to it and set content view to views dot root so let's go back to our manifest and add a new activity here and it's going to be call activity and set exported as true so right here we should receive three arguments from our intents uh, one of them is target that we are going to start this call activity with him or with her it's going to be a string and now initially the other one is going to be is this call video call uh, private war actually it's a boolean and initially it's true and the other one if this person that comes to this activity is caller or it is callie so we'll make it boolean and imagine if and think that he is a caller and then here I'll create a function called init and inside init function I'll check my intent first get string extra get string extra with the name of target I'll check if it's not null then this dot target is equal to it if it is null then I wanna run a Kotlin run block and finish my activity and his video call is equal to intent gets boolean extra and with the key name of is video call and default value is going to be true same goes for is color and is color for the key and default value is going to be true and using views I'll create an apply block to decide uh, whether if, if this call is video so we should hide some buttons like here for example if it's an audio call we don't want to see uh, the toggle camera button the switch camera button or screen share let's go back to our call activity and check if it's video call not it means it's an audio call then we want to do the camera button is visible it's false screen share button also and switch camera button to be false so let's go back to our main activity and here and here let's remove this toast and instead of that let's write start activity for the beginning we pass this and start activity and write intent pass this for the beginning and call activity as the target we also want to apply some block to our intent and put some extra first the target is going to be username that is derived from this listener and also put extra is video call to true and is color to true same goes for here but this is an audio call so we set this to false but it's a color still since this interface is being uh, derived from our recycler view that we decide to click on the audio button so it's a color and here let's remove this one and for this we have to mark it with main activity and the target is going to be the person who sent this to us which will be model.sender and is the video call 
is going to be his video call and his color is going to be false we can check that by running our emulators i'll log it as Masood here and Mitch has the second one like this so if i try to audio call Mitch i should go to our uh, video call activity and you will see that uh, the video call buttons and the screen share are gone and same if i go with the video call we can see the intents are derived totally and if i accept it here it would be the same let's go back and send the audio call accept and yeah you can see everything is working fine okay let's go back to our code and move to our call activity i want to inject the service repository and using a function like this set up views they will give this information to our service that hey it's a video call tell our web RTC client that set up our uh, surface view renders or if it's an audio call we just want to create an audio source so to do that let's create this function like this I'll just pass his video call his color and target as non null so let's create member function like this let's create an intent first context and main service Isn't that apply the action is going to be main service actions dot set up views we shall create in a second that name Put extra is video call to is video call Put extra target to target and is color to color and then start service intent and pass intent to it and let's go to our main service and in case of setup setup views for some reason just being stupid name you wanna handle set up views and pass the incoming intent to it so let's create this function and here using this incoming intent we will get our variables like is color is equal to incoming intent gets boolean extra the name of is color and it's going to be false initially same goes for is video call is video call you should copy and paste these keys so you can't make any mistakes and the target is going to be incoming intent get string extra and pass the target as the key the next thing we wanna store our target using this function and pass targets to it and we know it's not null so let's create this function like this and create a variable name private var target of type string and it's going to be nullable and null initially so this dot target is equal the target from our function And right here, we want to initialize our widgets and start streaming our uh, video and audio source and get prepared for call. In both case scenarios, if it is a caller or it is not a caller, it's a callie. And we check if it's not a caller which means it's he's a callie so both person are in the video call or in the call activity and they're ready to start a call so we check this for if it is a callie then we start the video call and using main repository 
start call function we will start our whole WebRTC process so that's it for this video on the next video we are going to start creating our WebRTC clients and start connecting two peers together so till the next video see you everyone